Psalm chapter 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, they are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm chapter 2 Why do the nations rage, and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion, and I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. Psalm 3 Lord, how are they increased who trouble me? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there's no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and I slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Psalm chapter 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me when I was in deep distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? 
Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O my Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. You are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction, their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue, pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all, all those who rejoice, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, with favor you will surround them as with a shield. Psalm 6 O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, and deliver me. O save me for your mercy's sake. For in death there's no remembrance of you. In the grave, who will give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning all night. I make my bed swim. I drench my couch with my tears, and my eye wastes away because of grief. It grows old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly. Psalm 7 O Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me, and deliver me, God, lest they tear me like a lion, rending me in pieces while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is iniquity in my hands, if I have repaid evil to him who was at peace with me, or have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake me. Yes, let him trample my life to the earth and lay my honor to the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up because of the rage of my enemies and awake for me to the judgment you have commanded. So the congregation of the peoples shall surround you for their sakes. Therefore, return on high. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. 
O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just, for the righteous God tests the hearts and minds. My defense is of God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a just judge. And God is angry with the wicked every day. If he does not turn back, he will sharpen his sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. He also prepares for himself instruments of death. He makes his arrows into fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked travails with iniquity, conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out. He has fallen into the ditch which he made. His trouble shall return upon his own head, and his violent dwelling shall come down on his own crown. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm 8 O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You who set your glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, and the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, they pass through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Psalm 9 I will praise you, O oh Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall back and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. O oh, enemy, destructions are finished forever. And you have destroyed cities. Even their memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness. And he shall administer judgment for the peoples in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord, who dwell in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praise. I will tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they have made. In the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned 
into hell. And all the nations that forgot God, for the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let men prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Psalm 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is none of his thoughts. His ways are always prospering. Your judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all of his enemies, he sneers at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression, and under his tongue is trouble and iniquity. He sits in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws them into his net. So he crouches, he lies low, that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, you will not require an account. But you have seen it. For you observe trouble and grief. You repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear. Do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may oppress no more. Psalm 11. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire, and brimstone, and a burning wind. This shall be the portion of their cup, for the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. His countenance beholds the upright. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for the godly men ceases. For the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone, with his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart, they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? 
for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure, pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of the earth, purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Psalm 13 How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God, Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him, lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he's dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There's none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call on the Lord? There they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You shame the counsel of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion, when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people, then let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalm 15, Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart he who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and changes not. He who does not put his money at usury nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Psalm 16, Preserve me, O Lord, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you and to the saints who are on the earth. They are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied, who hasten after another god. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. You, O Lord, are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh shall also rejoice in hope. For you, 
will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life, and in your presence is the fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer that is not from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence. Let your eyes look on the things that are upright. You have tested my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and found nothing. I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the paths of the destroyer. Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O Lord. Incline your ear to me and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. O oh, you who have saved those who trust in you from those who rise up against them, keep me. Keep me, O oh Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Hide me from the wicked who oppress me, from the deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed up their fat hearts. With their mouths they speak proudly. They have surrounded us in our steps. They have set their eyes crouching down to the earth, like a lion that is eager to tear his prey and as a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront him, cast him down. Deliver my life from the wicked with your sword, with your hand from men, O Lord, from men of this world who have their portion in this life and whose belly you fill with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children and leave the rest of their substance for their babes. As for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. Psalm 18 I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from all my enemies. The pangs of death encompassed me, and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me, the snares of death confronted me, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. I cried out to my God, and he heard my voice from his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken, because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His canopy around him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe, lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils, he sent from above 
He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all of his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless before him and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With a blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. And with the devious, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the humble person, but you will bring down haughty looks. For you will light my lamp, Lord. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop, and by my God I can leap over a wall. As for my God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God except the Lord? Who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness, O oh Lord, has made me great. You enlarged my path under me so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so that they were not able to rise. They have fallen under my feet. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies, so that I destroyed those who hated me. They cried out, but there was none to deliver them, none to save them, even to the Lord, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them as fine as the dust before the wind. I cast them out like dirt in the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people, O God. You have made me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avenges me and subdues the peoples under me. He delivers me from all my enemies. You have lifted me up above those who rise up against me. You have delivered me from the violent men. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. Great deliverance he gives to his king. He shows mercy to his anointed, to David and his descendants forevermore. Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is the bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end, 
and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults, O God. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me, God. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the Lord, God of Jacob, defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all of your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all of your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we, we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down their knees and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. Psalm 21. The King shall have joy in your strength, O Lord, and in your salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire, and you have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked life from you, and you gave it to him. Length of days, forever and ever. His glory is great in your salvation. Honor and majesty you have placed upon him, for you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Your hand shall find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their offspring you shall destroy from the earth, and their descendants from among the sons of men. For they have intended evil against you. They devised a plot which they are not able to perform. Therefore, you will make them turn their back. You will make ready your arrows on your string towards their faces. Be exalted, O Lord, in your own strength. We will sing <laughs> and we will praise your name. Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season, and am not silent. But you are holy. You who inhabit the praises of Israel, our fathers trusted in you, they trusted and you delivered them. 
They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of people. All those who see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip and shake the head, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. But you are he who took me out of the womb. You have made me trust when I was at my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there's no one to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They gape at me with their mouths as a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it melts within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my, my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me, and the assembly of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet, and I count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All you offspring of Israel, for he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the great congregation, and I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let, let your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall worship before you, for the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him. Even he who cannot himself be kept alive. A posterity shall serve him. It will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born. That he has done this. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd. I shall never want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me, Lord. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. O Lord, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of of the Lord forever. Psalm 24 The earth is the Lord's and all of its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. 
he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Psalm 25, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those who, who deal treacherously without a cause, let those be ashamed. Show me your paths. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he teaches sinners in the way. The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. He will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn yourself to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins, Lord. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hated me with cruel hatred. Keep my soul, Lord and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of their troubles. Psalm 26. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord, and I shall not slip. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart, for your loving kindness is before my eyes. And I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with idolatrous mortals, nor will I go in with hypocrites. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence. So I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving. I will tell all of your wondrous works, Lord. I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not gather my soul together with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is a sinister scheme and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregations, I will bless the Lord. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. 
of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy upon me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. For you have been my help. Do not leave me or forsake me. O God of my salvation, when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and as such breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 28. To you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, Lord, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve, because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operations of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is their strength. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also, and bear them up forever. Psalm 29. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king 
forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up. You have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Now in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood? When I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I give praise to you forever and ever. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never, never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me and deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated those who regard vain idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me out into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in great trouble and my eye wastes away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body, for my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and I am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side, while they take counsel together against me. They scheme to take away my life. But as for me, as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you, in the presence of the sons of men. You, Lord, shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. From the plots of men, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion 
from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplication when I cried out to you. Oh, love the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silent, my bones grew old, through my groaning all the day long, for day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, Lord, and my iniquity I have not hidden from you, Lord. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. In a time when you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall preserve me from all trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. You righteous, shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Psalm 33, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, all you righteous, for praise. Praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all of his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen as his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looks. On all the inhabitants of the earth, he fashions their hearts individually. He considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He alone is our help and our, our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us 
just as we hope in you. Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name forever. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions suffer and they hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is very near to those who have a broken heart, and he saves such as have a contrite and a broken spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all of his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of my shield and buckler and stand up for my help and draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall be joyful in the God of my salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. They reward him evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to his own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or my brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced. They gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. 
they tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feasts, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against those who are quiet in the land. They are also opened their mouth wide against me and say, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord, and do not be silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, ha, so we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and be brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and all your praise all the day long. Psalm 36, an oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes for he flatters himself in his own eyes. When he finds out his iniquity and when he hates, the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O Lord. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There, the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and they are not able to rise. Psalm 37. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of men who bring wicked schemes to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret, it only causes harm. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. 
and yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look diligently for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the just, and gnashes at him with his teeth. But the Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and the needy, to slay those who are of upright conduct. Their sword shall enter their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the splendor of the meadows, shall vanish. Into smoke they will vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For those who are blessed by him shall inherit the earth, and those who are cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young, now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. He is ever merciful, and, and he lends, and his descendants are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore, for the Lord loves justice, and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom and his tongue talks of justice. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him but the Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree, yet he passes away, and behold, he was no more. Indeed, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the blameless man, though, and observe the upright, for the future of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The future of the wicked shall be cut off. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, and he is their strength in times of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trusted in him. Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows pierce me deeply and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor is there any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I am troubled and I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are full of inflammation, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble 
and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and all my sign is not hidden from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my kinsmen stand afar off. Those also who seek my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of destruction and plan deception all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear. I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth is no response. For in you, Lord, I hope. You will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest they rejoice over me, lest when my foot slips they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those who render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Psalm 39 I said I will guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle. While the wicked are before me, I was mute with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred up. My heart was hot within me, and while I was musing, the fire burned, and then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, make me to know my end, and what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am. Indeed, you have made my days as hand breaths, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly every man at his best state is but vapor. Surely every man walks about like a shadow. Surely they busy themselves in vain, and they heap up riches, and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute, I did not open my mouth, because it was you who did it. Remove your plague from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand. When with rebukes you correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty melt away like a moth. Surely every man is vapor. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Remove your gaze from me, that I may regain strength before I go away and am no more. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God, and many will see it and fear, and I will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, are your wondrous works, which you have done, and your thoughts which are toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can even be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. And then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. 
I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great congregation. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips. O Lord, you yourself know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation, and I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth. From the great congregation, do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me, for innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I'm not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Let them be appalled because of their shame, who say to me, Aha! Aha! Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Psalm 41 Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he will be blessed on the earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sickbed. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? And if he comes to see me, he speaks vain words. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. Against me they devise my hurt. An evil disease, they say, clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are well pleased with me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity, and set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen.